Well, thank you so much, Mr. Speaker, and hallelujah! I'll tell you, Mr. Speaker, I'm gonna, I am, I, I know I'm out of time, but I'm not out of breath, and I'll tell you what, I'm sure as hell not out of passion. They're gonna spontaneously break out in Depression-era George Gershwin opera. I know what this country means for everybody, and we're making it possible for them every day in every way. I thank you, and I yield back. I got plenty of nothing. I mean, it's a remarkable cover where it looks like it's an iceberg, but actually it's an upside-down plastic bag, and I don't know who would be responsible for this, but... Uh... And nothing's plenty for me. I got no car, got no misery. Meanwhile, Senator Whitehouse and I both had this on our, in our desks, uh, in our offices. <laughs> Before I yield back to the balance of my time, Mr. Chairman, I want to give you a hug. The Republicans think they can wave a magic wand and hide the cost. We might be a work-free drug zone up here. But I have news for them. Uh, this is the Congress. This isn't Hogwarts. Country roads are calling me home. According to the Post, you attended one of Mr. Francis's pay-to-play parties, mingling with, quote, attractive young women dressed as Santa's little helpers, wearing red hats, black boots, and skimpy yuletide costumes. The Chinese People's Libertarian Army I'm sorry, Liberation Army. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. And somebody's got to explain this to Trump, so. I guess that'll be my job. If it's going to take this to get those 50 votes. <laughs>